Hello, my name is Anne and this is Thomas and welcome to our lightboard video. So in this video we aim to explain the lymphatic drainage of the breast to the auxiliary lymph nodes and also other minor pathways for breast lymphatic drainage. We aim to relate this to metastasis of breast cancer and also to clinical investigations undertaken in the evaluation of a woman suspected of having breast cancer, including sentinel node biopsy. We also hope that you can relate the anatomy that you learn here to the breast examination. Small lymphatic vessels within the breast converge on the sub plexus surrounding the nipple. From here, there are two main routes for lymphatic drainage. 75% of the lymph will go to the axillary lymph nodes. Approximately 25% of the lymph on the medial aspect of the subareolar plexus will go to the parasternal lymph nodes. From here, lymph drains to the bronchomediastinal trunk, which then goes to the right lymphatic duct on the right-hand side, or the thoracic duct on the left-hand side, and to the contralateral breast. Another important pathway is to the inferior phrenic lymph nodes. These sit just below the diaphragm. The inferior phrenic lymph nodes drain from the inferior aspect of the subareolar plexus. Another pair of important roots are the transpectoral and retropectoral roots, which pass through and between the pectoralis muscles respectively. These drain directly to the apical lymph nodes, which sit on the axillary vein. The axillary lymph nodes provide the most important pathway for lymphatic drainage from the breast and are therefore very important in terms of breast cancer metastasis. There are five nodal groups that sit within the axilla, the anterior, lateral, posterior, central and apical nodal groups. The arrangement of these nodes is similar to a pyramid. At the base of the pyramid there are three points and the anterior, lateral and posterior nodal groups sit at each of these points. The anterior or pectoral group is the group that receives the majority of lymph for the breast. It is therefore the group that's going to first receive metastatic cells from breast cancer in most cases. The lateral group receives lymphatic drainage from the upper limb and the posterior group receives lymphatic drainage from the back and scapula regions. So the pectoral group sits on the medial wall of the axilla and is related to the inferior border of the pectoralis minor muscle. As Anne mentioned before, there are several peripheral roots which allow lymphatic drainage directly to the apical lymph nodes. The anterior, lateral and posterior nodes nodal groups drain superiorly to the central lymph nodes. The central lymph nodes are related to the axillary vein. From here, the lymph again drains superiorly to the apical lymph nodes which sit deep in the axilla, again on the axillary vein. From the apical lymph nodes, lymph drains towards the supraclavicular and infraclavicular nodes. And from these nodes, the lymph will eventually drain into the right lymphatic duct on the right side of the body or the thoracic duct on the left side of the body. All of these lymph nodes are palpated during the breast examination to check for any abnormalities such as immobility or enlargement that might be suggestive of metastatic breast cancer. Surgically, the axillary lymph nodes are divided into three levels and this division is on the basis of their relationship to the pectoralis minor muscle. There are three levels of nodes, level one, level two, and level three. Level one nodes sit lateral to or inferior to the lateral border of pectoralis minor and include the apical, posterior, and lateral groups. Level two nodes sit posterior or deep to pectoralis minor and include the central nodes. And the apical nodes form level three, which sits superior to or medial to the upper border of pectoralis minor. Nodes in levels one and two are superficial and are more easily palpated during the breast examination. Level three nodes are deeper and are therefore harder to palpate during the breast examination. After reaching the apical lymph nodes, the lymph passes to the supraclavicular and infraclavicular lymph nodes, which sit on the subclavian vein and axillary vein. From here, they then drain to the subclavian lymphatic trunk, which joins with the jugular trunk to form the right lymphatic duct or the thoracic duct. Sentinel node biopsy is an important part of the breast cancer workup process. Radioactive dye is injected below the tumour and a handheld gamma probe is used to detect the node to which the radioactive dye first drains. This is the sentinel node. A surgeon then removes the lymph node and it's sent to a pathology lab for further investigation. Most commonly, the node is in the upper lateral quadrant of the breast. So this concludes our lightboard video on breast lymphatics. We hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.